Hey guys, this is What You're Looking At, and today I got my overview of the Elite Force PDW. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, to start this video off, as always, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure at the end of this video to like it if you enjoy the content of it, of course. So here we go. This is the Elite Force PDW. The way you see it is its completed version, the way you would see me use it in a game. Uh, basically how I acquired this gun was through trade. So basically, I traded my Ares LMG for this. On um, first, uh, it's a really good trade, but that's until I had to start doing shit to the gun. So essentially, I bought the gun, just didn't shoot. I thought a piston stripped, opened up the gearbox, uh, lord and behold, three of the teeth were stripped. That was fine. I had an extra uh, pistol laying around, so I put in a JG middle tooth piston in here. And then, after all the hop up troubles I had, I just went ahead and ordered um, spare inner barrel and spare hop up system directly from Elite Force. It was like $50 after shipping. So, I did have to put work in this gun just to get it working. On top, I had to buy the screw for this. But overall, this gun is a really fun gun to play with and shoot. I don't know if it's something I see myself uh, keeping in the long run, but uh, I can say this is the first gun, or no, this is the second gun I have successfully put an R hop into. Starting with the back here, it's just got the stock rubber uh, butt pad on here, nothing different about this. I cobra wrap the stock in green 550 paracord, so that's cool. Everything on the body stock, uh, stock iron sights, they're fairly good to look to. I don't like how small the back one is, but uh, it's still a fairly easy set of iron sights to use, and it's actually pretty accurate for what you're aiming at, of course, when your hop up's adjusted. Up in the front here, I believe this is just a Matrix 110 millimeter silencer. It's hollow. There's nothing in there. Something you'd get off e bike for like 25 bucks, maybe weapon blender for like 15 or 20. Uh, got a couple of UTG rail covers over here on the rail itself, and then since this gun is wired to the front and there's no full stocks, so there's no reason to wire it to the rear. Uh, the guy I bought this from also sent me a battery bag. And I just used my Sky Lipo 74 1600 milliamp lipo in here. Wired the Deans, of course. And then that old mag grip or the mag wheel grip you used to see that was on my AK, I put up on here as since it is more fitted on an M4 type or an M4 mag type gun. And I gotta say, it feels really good to hold. Uh, matching that up with what I've done to the stock, this is a very comfortable gun to shoot. And um, I'm not gonna make this video long. I've done talked about what I wanna said. Uh, my chrono is not working right now, either that or the batteries are low. I can tell you that this gun consistently shoots 340 FPS, and the accuracy test you'll see me do right now is going to be with 0.28 gram BBs. So it's a high gram BB, but as I said, I have put R hop in this gun. So essentially, you just got to use a higher, um, higher weight, higher grade BB to accommodate the, all, all the backspin that's going to be uh, occurring in the gun. So um, let's go ahead and see what this gun can do. I'm very happy with what it will do, as you'll see. Okay, guys, I don't know how good you can see that. As I said, this camera has little to no zoom to it. But um, let's go ahead. As you know, if you hear a metal sound, that means I've hit the target, which, of course, in this situation is that chair. Okay, there you go, 100 feet every time, no need for me to shoot anymore, and I think I can literally get a 3 inch grouping shooting from 100 feet. Okay guys, now we are at 125 feet, same BBs, .28s. Okay, 125 feet every time. Okay guys, now we're getting uh, at the pretty far distances now. Now we're at 150 feet. The last seven in a row, uh, you know, we hit every time at 150 feet. You cannot complain with that type of accuracy out of such a small gun. Let's back up to 175 feet. Okay guys, now we are at 175 feet. We are getting we're getting pretty far back here. And just to put this in perspective, back in the day when I used to have that real sword SVD and I didn't even know what an R-Hop was, this is probably my max distance I could hit with that gun. And that gun is twice as long as this. So let's we'll see what I can do. Okay. 
Okay, so I just hit three times in a row and then one just went slightly left. So I'm still getting the distance. I just had a little flyer there. And as you see, the wind's blowing at about 15 to 20 miles an hour now. Okay, so I'm hitting every time at 175 feet. I'm gonna do my first burst to side in and then another burst to actually hit the chair. Okay, that was the good burst. <laughs> As you see, that was like a seven round burst and I think six of them hit at 175 feet. So even full auto, you're gonna have no problem hitting the target. I mean, this is, the accuracy of this gun is crazy. Let's back up the 200 feet. Okay guys, now we are back at a whopping 200 feet. This is that distance that people wish they could hit you at. I'm gonna try just a full auto burst here to see what I can do. I'm gonna try to do six to seven round burst here. <laughs> hit like five times there hit three out of seven okay that was a that was like five to six that was a bad shot my fault that's a good shot okay that was like four hits last shot from 200 Okay, so like two of those out of those five hit and the other three went above. As you can tell though, it's just crazy, 200 feet. Okay guys, we just shot 200 feet. Now we're gonna shoot my max distance with this gun from my previous testing, which is 215 feet. Okay, that was a clean hit. That actually hit, I don't know if you could hear that, hit the very side of the chair, but it still counts. Okay, that hit, that one, nope, that was a miss. Not a hit, and that's a clean hit. So guys, we're hitting nearly every other time here in semi at 215 feet. Okay guys, so as you see, this is the size of the gun. It's not no monster FPS, it only shoots 340 FPS stock spring and I'm getting 215 feet of range. That is just crazy. Look at, look at how that's, you know, zoomed out all the way. Look at how far that is. You can't even see the chair and you can barely even hear it when it hits because, you know, the BB's traveling so slow but the backspin on the BB is so good. So, um, overall guys, I am really happy with my results of the R-Hop with this gun. The other gun I did to it to, uh, do it to was my Paratrooper AK and that gun actually shoots 380, but the r hop didn't turn out as good, but I'm able to hit like at 200 feet, same deal. I got to kind of, instead of aiming straight, I got to kind of tilt the gun to the right, but that's something I can, you know, I'm already used to while shooting it. So I think it's just absolutely cool that there's things you can do to the gun like this to just give it some crazy range. So uh, sorry if this video was extra long, but um, I just had to show that to you guys. r hop is amazing once you perfect it. As I said, you have to perfect it or it's going to give you a hard time. It literally took me about eight tries to get this right. And our hop was definitely the most frustrating thing for me to get. Maybe it was just the learning curve I had to go through. I know a lot of people have gotten it like that. I know uh, the guy who started it or who not, not, I don't, originated is what I should say. The R hopper really got it going. Who was Hunter Seeker. I know he can do them in like five minutes. It took me like an hour to make this one, but um, as I said, it's just, it's a, it's a headache sometimes. But once you get it right, as you see, you get really nice results. And even with a small gun like this, you can take this out to the field and play it in any scenario and be fine. You can play it up uh, really close, you can play it up far, you can play with snipers, heck. You can play with snipers with this gun that shoots 340 FPS. So I think that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been a What You're Looking At production that was entirely too long, and I'm out.